Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Beverly Black and I'm back with another video. Before I get into today's video, I'd like to thank everybody who shared my link on WhatsApp. I had a voice note going around asking people to share my YouTube link so that I reached 300 subscribers. And if I remember correctly, I was on 322 the day I sent out the, the voice note and then I got... 86 or 80 something subscribers um that day because people responded positive to the voice note and they shared my link so i'd like to thank everybody who shared my link thank you so much and please continue sharing it with your loved ones and your friends and you also if you are new here please click on the subscribe button you won't regret it and if you are an old subscriber thank you so much for coming back and yeah, stay tuned. Uh, in today's video, as you can tell by the title, I will be telling you guys my birth story. <laughs> a lot of people asked for my birth story. I was getting a lot of DMs after I posted that uh, baby Kumo is here. A lot of people were like, yeah, we want the birth story. We want the birth story. So I decided to respond. Here it is. Um, I'm out here drinking tropica because well i'm still breastfeeding and okay not that i want alcohol but you know a lot of people tell stories using alcohol so <laughs> mm -hmm. anyways all right yeah guys my due date was on the 8th of may and on that day i had a maternity shoot well i was a bit scared that i might you know go into labor that day but I know that it's like four percent of women go um to labor on the on the actual day so yeah a part of me was like chilled i just wanted to do the shoot i also have a video my behind the scene maternity shoot if you haven't watched it i'll put the link um, in the description box below go and watch it and yeah you'll see that i was like a bit chilled and yeah it's a nice one anyways um yeah, my due date was on the 8th. I went for that shoot. Nothing happened on that day. Didn't feel any pains. And then on the 9th, yeah, in the morning, I started feeling some pains. I felt some period-like pains. Yeah, they were not bad and they were like coming in intervals. But I could chill. I, I was like, I was so chilled. I was fine the whole day. And then, yeah, I woke up. We cooked. It was fine. And then later on... They started coming a bit close together. Well, that's what I thought, but they were actually not close together. But I thought they were close together. I even had a timer, like I was timing them. <laughs> but I was wrong because they were still far apart. Anyways, I watched a lot of videos about labor. I read a lot of books. I, read, I even have apps on my phone about labor. So I knew when to go to the hospital. Well... I thought I knew when to go to the hospital. Well, the, the apps and the videos I watched and the, whatever I read, I said I should go to the hospital when my pains are like close together, when the intervals are like short. So, yeah, I was chilled. I wanted to labor at home and stuff. So, I told my partner about the pains, obviously, and yo, we were so excited. My mom, my mom was even more excited but very scared and but we were happy that it's finally we are finally doing this and then yeah um my partner was like yo let's go get you checked i was like no i'm fine like i'm fine i know i know i'll tell you when i, I have <laughs> when the pains are unbearable but yo, he kept on worrying kept on texting me please let's go check go check i was like no no not yet until around eight he called my mom and then he was like can we please go get the table checked by the clinic blah 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 and then my mom was like table let's just go in 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 yep that's what happened we went there mm. when we got there we went to the clinic not far from my cassie went to that clinic and then um we got the the what do we call them the sister the nurse 
um, checked my blood pressure, checked my urine, and then she she asked me to go into the bed, <laughs> take off my pants, and then she like inserted two fingers in my bunyani, and she was like, "Yeah, she's in labor." Oh, okay, cool. I got dressed. And then she told my mom and my partner that they should take me to the hospital. I was pissed, to be honest. I was bored because I knew I was going to spend the whole night there and nothing was going to happen. So, it's fine. It's fine. Let me just do what the professional says. We, yeah, we went home, took my bags. And by the way, if you're going to give birth at St. Rita's, you do not need anything that's in my my hospital bag the previous video <laughs> when i got there um we went to to the maternity ward and then um those nurses there were like ah no 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 you're not gonna need those bags um uh just take your toiletries take your robe and what else the receiving blanket that's all you need so guys if you're gonna give birth at a at St. Rita's actually, specifically. St. Rita's is like a public hospital around Glen Curry. If you're going to give birth there, like, you don't need to pack a lot of things. Just just pack your nightgown, your robe, and toiletries, and that receiving blanket. That's all you're going to need. So I also had, like, a plastic of snacks because we stopped by the garage to get some, some snacks and water and, you know, stuff. Just so that I can keep busy and yeah, have energy. <laughs> and then yeah, my partner went to get my file, and yeah, I was there with my mom. Guys, when we got there, somebody was giving birth. <laughs> Let me drink. Some girl was giving birth and she was screaming yo 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 i was scared i was scared i was so nervous she was screaming guys it was so bad okay cool we went in we sat by the benches so that they can get my room ready and stuff um i was sitting there with my mom having that talk you know that mother to daughter talk she was telling me that like just consoling me actually Yes, my baby is going to be painful, but um, be strong. You can do this. I mean, if who and who passed here, I mean, you can do it too. You know those kind of talks, yeah. And you're a woman. You were made to do this, you know. So you can do it, blah, blah, blah. And I felt, well, I ugh, no, guys, I didn't feel bad. I'm lying. It didn't feel better because I was still hearing that girl screaming and well, I was asking myself, what kind of pain could that be, you know? <laughs> so, um, uh, okay, that text is distracting me. So, yeah, they, oh, my mom was like, um, and please do not scream. Like, do not scream. Also, by his poo poo, that means you'll be stupid for the rest of your life. Every time you give birth, you're gonna be screaming so do not scream okay i was like okay but in my mind i'm like i don't know if i cannot scream i don't know anyways um yeah they left me got into my room thank god i was alone in my room i think it's because of covid and i was able to sleep that night and then in the morning the pain started to become um severe is it severe yeah, they started to become severe. Well, the nurses came in. They checked us, blood pressure, checked the baby's heartbeat. I didn't have that. I don't know what they call that thing that they put on your bum, on your bum, and then it checks it checks the baby's what heart rate, heartbeat, whatever. But they kept checking the heartbeat every maybe two hours. Yeah, they kept checking the baby's beat every two hours, and then. Also checking if you're dilating or not. Unfortunately, when they checked me around 8, I was not dilating. But I was in pain, guys. Like, you know when you're having bad period pains? Like those painful period pains? Yeah, it was something like that. And then around 10, a doctor came. 
a male doctor um he came checked um my blood pressure as well the you know the usual and then he checked my he checked if i'm dilating he also put on some lubricant on his two fingers and inserted them in my bunani again you know guys it was <laughs> i hated that part i hated that part like it's not a yoga but anyways he had to check he checked and he was like you are one centimeter i was like what all this time i'm still one centimeter yo, yo, yo. and then like in that room there's like a board a big board showing you um all the centimeters like from one centimeter up to 10 centimeters it shows um yeah from one centimeter the size of one centimeter up to the size of 10 centimeters and then that doctor told me that i'm supposed to be 10 centimeters and then i'll be ready to give birth then yo i was like damn i'm still one mm -mm -mm. it's gonna take forever anyways i went back to my room i chilled i chilled felt the pains kept breathing they told me to breathe like a um a dog <laughs> When I feel the pain, they said I must breathe like a dog, like, <sighs> yeah, so I kept doing that every time I felt the pain, <laughs> it was hectic, guys, you know, but yeah, I kept doing that, around 12 again, they came in to check us, okay, fine, still, I asked that, um, as a midwife, yeah, I asked her, I'm like, how far am I, she, then she was like, I'm not gonna tell you, because when I, next thing, you take your phone, text text some people tell them hey i'm dilating this centimeters blah 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 and then the person here means be with you um and then you're gonna give me care while i'm like while you're like, giving birth okay and then um what happened um okay yeah she went away then i went back to my room and then um around three she came back they brought us food they brought us um they brought us food i didn't even eat guys like i was in pain now the pains were like very bad i was in pain they were they were very close to each other like i could yo it was fucking bad so i kept breathing like the dog <laughs> and then um yeah i kept walking around like, yo, guys, those pains are unexplainable, explainable, but yo, they were bad. And then, um, she came back around, not three, it was maybe half past three to four. Yeah. She came back. She was like, okay, um, let's check you. They call us Basadi. Go spectacular, guys. They call us Basadi. Hey, Basadi, it's angry checking. <laughs> yo, I, uh, anyways, it's fine. Basadis means women. So come on, come on, let's check y'all. And then um she checked me and then she was like, Go get your stuff. I'm moving you. I was like, What? Going to the bathroom. Damn, it means I'm there now. Well, I'm not there, but I knew that I was like five centimeter plus because somebody some girl um before me. I don't know how, but she was told that she's like five centimeters and then she, they moved her to the bathroom room. So I get to the bathroom room. I found that girl with her baby. Well, she had a baby girl. I'm like, yo, hey girl. I wish I was you. I was like, yo, damn, I'm in pain. She was like, hang in there. When they brought you this side, it means you're very close. I was like, yo. Okay, cool. The guys kept breathing, kept breathing, and uh, uh, yeah, around around four to half past four, my partner came and guys, he brought me food. Can you imagine? Like he he brought lots of food, like snacks and 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 stuff. And that time I was in pain. I had no time for food, and I was like what are you doing here and they let him in that bathing room can you imagine and i'm looking at him i'm like what 
are you doing here what are you doing here i don't want you to see me like this Ugh, but it's fine he was like i couldn't even look at him i was so i was in pain guys i was yo <laughs> i couldn't look at him i just i was just like put them down there put them down here and then he was like yo you are in pain i'm like Ugh, obviously i'm in pain like get out like i can't breathe <laughs> yo guys yeah he went out and then um that midwife came in and then she checked me again and then i guess i was eight centimeters because I had them talking I'm like yeah she's eight centimeters she's ready that time guys i'm feeling the edge to push like now i want to push i want to poop i want to push and then like that nurse told me to not push imagine guys you know when you have like stomach ache and then you wanna like poop and like yo yo, yo i can't explain that but yeah, I felt the edge to push. I wanted to push so bad. I couldn't like handle it anymore. I was like, it was so bad, guys. Anyways, she came in. She's like, okay, girl, take off your clothes. I was like, yes, it's time. Yo, I was so excited. Well, I was, I was happy, but I was in pain. So I could not show any emotions. I was, yo, I took off everything quickly. I went to, oh, she took, yeah, she directed me to the other bed, the bathing bed. I don't know, I'll get a picture of it and put it here. She directed me, directed me to that bed. I went to that bed. Guys, I got there immediately when I got there. I wanted to push. I was so ready. But, yo, she went out. I think to get, like, you know, I don't know, the scissors, the watch what, the needles, everything she needed to, like, help me um, push this baby out. Push the baby out. Whatever. And then she came back and... She was like, yeah, you can push now. And if you if you feel like pooping, it's fine. Don't be embarrassed. Every woman does that. Like, it's it's normal. Blah, 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 blah. And then, you know, my midwife was so sweet, guys. I don't want to lie. She, and then I started pushing. Oh! I started pushing. I started pushing. She was like, yeah, cock, cock. <laughs> no. She was like, cock, cock. And then I'm like, I pushed guys and then um what happened yeah the head was out <laughs> okay cool not that i i felt really no but i felt something you know coming out <laughs> well yeah she was like yes the head is out the head is out continue don't stop continue pushing uh so that we get out the shoulders now it's like eh, okay and the a moment there pushed guys so hard i pushed and voila i just had you guys <laughs> i was so drained i don't want to lie i didn't like um, um you know jump around or anything i was so drained but i was like oh thank god you know and then i said it out loud i was like thank god and then she was like thank god no not yet we are still going to clean you and stuff. I was like, mm, okay. And then they brought the baby to me and then they showed me, do you see the gender? I was like, yeah, it's a boy. They're like, yeah, okay. They took him to some machines. I don't know what they did, you know, everything really. And then they cleaned me up. Guys, the cleaning. Oh. The cleaning is so painful. I don't want to lie. And then she used some... Um, I don't know. There was a cloth at the front of that thing, whatever that thing it was like a stick, and then it had like a cloth. I I don't know what that is. And then yeah, she put it in the punen and like clean the womb. She told me that she's cleaning the the lining. You know when you pregnant, your womb gets thick. Oh, I forgot to talk about the placenta. Yeah, after that, after they cut the umbilical cord, um she pushed out my placenta and then she showed it to me she was like do you see i was like yeah Ugh, guys that thing is uh, excuse me it's just some some meaty thing some i i don't i well i just looked at it once and like i was like okay cool you know <laughs> and then yeah she cleaned me she cleaned me yo 
the cleaning is painful i don't want to lie like yo know, the cleaning was so painful and then i guess my pussy tore <laughs> And yeah, guys, one thing about giving birth, your pussy will tear. Like, you like it or not. Okay, I don't know, but most of us, the pussy tears. <clears throat> I'll drink to that. Right. So, after cleaning me, yo, she was like, I have to stitch you. Yo, I was so nervous about that. Because when I was talking to a friend and she told me that your stitching is painful. It's like, okay. And also, guys, imagine a needle, like, somebody suing you, like, you're into the skin. And not just any skin, down there. So, yeah, it was, it was very scary. But she did it so... <laughs> She was so patient with me, hey? She was so patient with me. And I'm so glad I didn't scream. Yo, guys, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad I didn't scream. I was just like, mm, every time, like, yeah, I'm full of pains. Anyways, she, she, yeah, she, what is it? We say stitched. She stitched me. And then, um, after that, yeah, they were like, are you hungry? Can you stand up? Yeah, she cleaned up everything. Oh, guys. <sighs> I forgot to mention that my water didn't break. Um, she broke my water when I went to the bathing bed. Like, yeah, when I got there, she, like, broke my water. So I just felt like a whole lot of water coming down. <laughs> Yo, some warm water. Like, ooh, okay. Yeah, but that was not painful. It was nothing. And then, yeah. Um, they stood me up. They cleaned up. It was so messy. The bed was so messy. There was blood that water i guess and yo it was just so messy they stood me up she cleaned me up she cleaned me up and then she held me to another bed when i got to the other bed she gave me doctor what do we call those long pads from the, the hospitals uh, i forgot but she gave me a maternity pad it's not a maternity pad but yeah that pad doctor long <laughs> Or something I, I forgot she gave me that and then i went to the other bed yeah i chilled the day and then they said eat eat because you gotta have to breastfeed and oh yes guys i didn't do is it skin to skin what what like where they put your baby hair and stuff i didn't get to do that i don't know why but it was fine i did it when i got home and on my own um yeah i I was so hungry when I got to the other bed. I was so hungry, yo! <laughs> I can't believe I was that hungry. Anyways, I was so hungry. I ate immediately. They when they brought me food, I did. Food. They gave me some pap and chicken. I ate, guys. Like I was, yo, I was so hungry because I didn't eat the whole day, and I gave birth around five. Yeah, the the recorded time is five minutes past five. Then um they brought my baby to me guys I couldn't believe it I <laughs> I was like yo I'm a woman me yimbo godo yengiza ni yimbo bugazi yo I couldn't believe my eyes and I was so happy that I did it naturally because uh, I was worried about going back to work I was gonna go to medical. They're gonna tell me that yeah 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 you can't lift this you can't go up this so i was like worried if um i was worried about giving birth um naturally but thank god i gave birth naturally and i gave birth to a healthy boy he was guys he was big well he weighed um 3.1 but he looked okay not big he looked tall <laughs> yeah because i'm tall my partner is tall so yeah he is tall and then um they gave the baby to me guys i struggled to like put my my <laughs> i struggled to put my poop in his mouth like yo i struggled i don't wanna lie but at the end i managed and then they took me took us to the nursery we went into the nursery and yeah we slept over again the hospital and then I called my mom. Yo, everyone was so happy. My boyfriend was happy. 
Yo, my mom, especially. Yo, my mom is, yo, my mom is the happiest. Like, <laughs> um, then, um, what happened? Oh, we slept over. And then, um, what happened? The following day. Oh, at night. Well, um, it was not bad. He would just, like, suck. But I was struggling. I was even pressing my boob, like, <laughs> Just so that milk can get into his mouth, you know. Ugh. Yeah. And then um we slept around we kept I kept waking up actually. I, I could not believe my eyes, guys. I could not believe that I gave birth to a boy. Me, this one. I could not believe. And then um yeah, the following day my mom came with my partner. They brought us um the baby clothes and stuff and then in the morning yeah in the morning the nurses came in they checked our blood pressures and stuff and they told us how to uh, bath our babies we bought them with um with cotton guys first day with cotton and in a small one and a pound you just like you tap in the cotton and then you like just run it over him and then yeah wrap him with the with the receiving blanket and yeah had a nappy there but I also offered us some nappies then my mom came with the clothes around 11 i think we were released around 11 but before we released the doctor checked us and we got um injected uh some prevention don't do what is it depo i think yeah and then um what happened oh i dressed him and then signed out and we left yo guys it was <laughs> i was so happy it was so nice lastly we signed out and yeah i came home came home to a surprise guys <laughs> I also have a video on that. Um, if you haven't watched it, I'll put the link in the description box as well. Um, the arrival of Baby K. It was so beautiful, guys. Everyone was so happy. Oh, it was so amazing. I'm like, me, mu mama. <laughs> me, mu mama. Do you understand? And then, yeah. Um, that is it, guys. That is it. What am I forgetting? Mm, yeah, I think that's it. It was so nice having a baby. Having your own baby. Like, literally, when you say my baby, you mean your baby, your human. Not boyfriend. You know, you. Hey, enjoy it. Enjoy it. I will embarrass you. <laughs> And yeah, guys, that is it. That is it. That's how I gave birth. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far, I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, I'm reminding you, please subscribe. Please click on the subscribe button below. And give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Share it with your expecting friends. Share it with, with your friends, with anybody, actually. Um... And yeah, I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.